Hello everyone, this is Umair Hassan and uh, we are going to discuss about uh, uh, the process how to find the square root and uh, cube root of uh, numbers in uh, CSS GSA papers because you are not allowed to use calculator so you have to perform the calculation by yourself well you will be having um, uh, advantage of finding square root and cube root without calculator in the areas regarding uh, uh, the questions where you have to find areas, volume uh, and such type of questions. So uh, how to find a square root and cube root without a calculator? So first of all, the symbol that is used to represent a square root is like this. So this represents a square root and uh, cube root is represented by this symbol. Now this is a symbol for cube root. Now if, if I have a question uh, where, uh, okay just let me elaborate the process of finding the square root and cube root then I will come to real life example of that question. Now if I give you a question that fine square root of a number and the number is 324 without calculator. So we are going to adopt the process of prime factorization. We will uh, find prime factors of 324 and then we will write them in square form like this. Just do prime factorization of 324 to 1 times 2 to 6 times 12 to 2 times 4 to 8 times 16 to 1 times 2 3 2 times 6 3 7 times 21 3 9 times 27 3 3 times 9 3 1 times 3 so these are prime factors of 324 and you can write them in index notation but let me let me tell you one thing we have to find a square root so just write down the factor in square form 2 into 2 2 square 3 into 3 3 square again 3 into 3 3 square so when you have to find square root you have to write the factors in square form now taking square root on both the sides well that will be 2 square under root under root 3 square under root 3 square apply this square root individually to all of these square and square root will be cancelled that will be 2 into 3 into 3 3 into 3 9 9 into 2 18 well, 18 is a square root of 324. Similarly, you can find cube root. So, let us solve an example. Find cube root of 512. And we will be using the same process of prime factorization. Factorize 512 by the process of doing prime factorization 2 2 times 4 5 times 10 6 times 12 2 1 times 2 2 2 times 4 2 8 times 16 64 times 128 32 times 64 16 times 16 times 32, 8 times 16, 2, 4 times 8, 2, 2 times 4, 2, 1 times 2. So the prime factors of 5, 12 and because I need to find cube root, I need to find cube root. So I am going to write them in cube form. I mean I will write these 2 into 2 into 2 as 2 cube. And then 2 into 2 into 2 will be written as 2 cube because I need to find cube root 
and then 2 into 2 into 2 is 2 cube. So after writing your factors in cube form, in we will combine 3 of the same kind, 2, 2, 2 that is 2 cube, bases are same, you will add the powers, now take cube root. And when you will take cube root, that will be like this. So cube and cube root will be cancelled. So 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. So cube root of 512 is 8. So this is how you are going to find square root and cube root in um, uh, CSS GSA paper without using the calculator. Well, practically how you have to find, how you have to apply this in uh, some problem related to real life. Well, that is, I will explain it with the problem over here. So, how we are going to apply the concept of a square root? Uh, take this example, we have a square form uh, and uh, the area of that square form is 36 centimeters square. So, there is a form which is of a square shape like this. So, its area is 36 meter square and uh, we have to find the perimeter of the form. Perimeter means boundary. You need to find the boundary of the form. Uh, so, first of all, we must know what is the length of this square. I mean, the, this length and this length, they are all same because it is a square. Square has got same sides. So, how you are going to find this length? If you will be able to find this length, you can find the rest one because they are same. So, 36, you need to take square root of 36 and for that you need to do prime factorization 218 times 36, 29 times 18, 3, 3 times 9, 3, 1 times 3. Okay. Now, uh, basically why I am going to take square root, suppose the length is x and width is x and as you know uh, you have same length and width in case of square so x into x length into width gives you area length into width gives you area of square so x into x that is x square is 36 so you need to find uh, x you need to take the square root so now in place of 36 write and for square root you remember we are going to write them in square form that is 2 square and 3 square this is 3 square this is 2 square now you can cancel square and square root so 2 into 3 that is 6 so x is 6 so this is 6 this is 6 in square these sides are same this is 6 and this one is also 6 all sides are same 6 6 6 6 add them perimeter is what Perimeter is the boundary and boundary mean add all the length. So 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. So the perimeter is 24 meter. So this is how you have to apply the concept of uh, uh, square as well as of cube in your uh, real life. And uh, thank you so much.